everyone, this is Katie Moran and I want to show you the Adobe Photoshop Mix app on iPads, also available on Chromebook, and ways that you can use it to layer photos. So first I'm going to click on the app here on my iPad to open it and start a new project by clicking on the plus sign. I've already put the images I want on my camera roll, so I click on my iPad and choose for my camera roll the, my background image. So once I have that background image, I'm going to resize it to get it where I want it. Um, and then we can start looking at some of the cool tools in this app. I want to change the look of it, so I'm going to click Looks. All right, and when I do that, it's going to let me kind of play with some of these filters to change the appearance of my background image that I want to use. But I think I only want the desk and the flags to pop. So I'm going to click that Smart tool, and I'm going to trace the parts of the picture that I want to emphasize with the filter, and it will only change those parts. I will tell you that I find better success with accuracy if I can zoom in relatively close to help only pick parts of the picture that I want to highlight. So I'm going to scoot down to the picture, see I zoomed out, I got part of the desk that I didn't want, I just wanted the oval seal there. Um, so you can use the undo to go back and then get exactly what you want. So I click the check, I have the background the way I want it, I want to add my other picture, so I'll click on the plus sign again to go into my images on my iPad, and I'm going to insert a picture of me at a desk, at a podium. Well, I don't want that background picture, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the cutout tool. And when I click on cutout, what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to zoom in kind of close, and I'm going to trace what parts I want to add back into my picture. So I'll trace my face and I'll trace the parts of my body so that I'm only getting the parts that I want to be of me sitting at the Oval Office. So my first swipe through, it's pretty broad. I know I'm picking up a lot of the part of the picture I don't want to include and that's fine for now. Just kind of generally add in the part of the picture that you want to keep. And then when you're done, you can go over to where it says subtract. Zoom in a bit closer because it obviously picked it up last time, but now you can subtract out some of the finer details. So the parts of the map that were beside my arm, um, but I want to also eliminate part of the desk. And I can toggle back and forth here between the subtract and add to kind of touch, touch up and, and get the picture just how I want it. And then I'll click the check mark. And now I can pinch and reposition that image so that I'm sitting at the desk and I am now the President of the United States in the Oval Office, President Moran. What a great prompt for a writing activity are all sorts of things that you could be doing with this. When you're finished, you'll go ahead and click that share button in the top right corner so that you can save it back to your iPad and then start a new project when you're ready. Thank you for joining me and I hope you have just as much fun with this app as I do.